Hello everyone, this is Elad from Astrolabe Diagnostics and today I would like to talk about quality control of SciTaf debug coding. One of the main advantages of the SciTaf is that it allows you to easily multiplex multiple samples into a single acquisition. This means that if you have up to 20 different samples and in some schemes even up to 60 different samples, you can barcode them um, and then stain them together, acquire them together and um, debug code after the acquisition which effectively reduces the technical noise that you will see in these samples. And um, when doing these kinds of processes, it's very important to monitor different quality control metrics just to make sure that um, the data you get is actually the data that you expect. So looking at Astrolabe, um, there's a few ways in which the platform helps you uh, do the quality control on your barcoding. First of all, when you set up the experiment, uh, you can set up the barcoding scheme and uh, we support uh, the Fluidime barcoding kit, we support live cell barcoding, uh, we support cisplatin barcoding, <coughs> really anything that comes to mind. Um, when you debarcode an experiment using Estrelay, the platform is going to make sure that all of the codes you expect are there. In other words, if you're looking for a certain combination of, uh, of channels and we don't see it, then we will let you know that something is wrong. Then, once deeper coding is done, you can download this deeper coding report. And it includes many different figures that you can use uh, to assess the quality of the data. Uh, first of all, it's going to show you if any cells are negative for DNA, and these are removed prior to deeper coding. Then, uh, for each one of the codes, it will show you the um, marker combination for that code. So we can go sample by sample and make sure that the, um, the positions of the cells are indeed clean across the different biaxial plot. Next, it's going to show us the expression of the beads over time. So this is a great metric to make sure that uh, the data was normalized correctly versus the beads and that there's no uh, weird trends there. And um, <coughs> finally, Astrolabe is going to calculate the yield and the barcoding separation distance. So the yield is the percent of cells of events that have been assigned to any of the codes. Um, in this case, these are PBMCs, the yield is about 84%, and I think that's a pretty good value that's to be expected. Next, we're going to show you the barcoding separation distance for each one of the events, and this value shows you um, for each cell how close was it to its own cluster compared to other clusters. And we want this to be as high as possible. When looking at these kinds of plot, the high peak is going to include real events, the low peak usually includes uh, debris or cells that were not labeled correctly. And um, one last thing that Astrolab lets you do is you can download the exported FCS files from the platform and uh, they are going to include an additional channel for the barcoding separation distance. So you can take the separation distance and put it against time in each one of your samples and make sure that they are indeed it looks as clean as you would expect it to see. Now to clarify, I'm showing all of these metrics through the lens of Astrolabe. However, these are available through the Fluidime debug coding software, uh, through the, uh, um, if I recall correctly, the Premesa package. So these same metrics exist in other software tools as well. Um, and again, when you debug code your data, make sure to monitor them. Make sure to, uh, to have a look at the barcoding separation distance, at the yield, at the different biaxial plots for the uh, barcoding channels, just to make sure that you're getting clean samples out of these. So with this, I will thank you for your time, and uh, please reach out if you have large experiments, if you need help deeper coding, if you need help with the analysis, we're here to help. And also, if you have any questions about analysis in general, I'm always happy to answer. Thank you, and have a good day.